Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound iron 2 chloride. So let's see where these two elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll write the formula from there. So the first element that I see is iron. I'm going to scan the periodic table, and I see that iron is right here. Right, it's represented by an Fe. But now here's the thing, guys. In order to write a formula, I need to have a charge. But iron is located in this transition metal box, right? It's a transition metal. So I'm going to write Fe, but how am I going to know what charge to put in the upper right-hand corner? Oh, that's why they tell me the Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So in this case, the Roman numeral is a 2, so I'm going to write that iron is a plus 2. Notice that metals are always going to be positive. They're always going to lose electrons. So iron would never be a negative 2, but a plus 2. The next element that I see here is chloride, right? It has an IDE ending, which probably means that it's coming from the periodic table as a nonmetal. And if I scan the periodic table to find where chloride is, right, I'll look for a chlor, and it's right over here. Here's chlorine, right? Chlorine is represented as a Cl, and it's a halogen. It's in group 7A or 17, and all halogens, like chlorine, have a negative 1 charge as their oxidation state. It follows this trend. Now, since I have both components and I have the charges, we do this little uh, trick where we crisscross the charges to just say how many of each element I need. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two chlorines, and this negative 1 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one of the irons. When you do this crisscross, don't worry about the charges anymore. You're only going to be focusing on the subscripts, and don't worry about the positives and the negatives. Now, let's write our formula. So I have iron, Fe. I only need one of these, so I don't have to write this one here. But then when I say that I have chlorine, I have to have that I have, you know, I have two of them. So I have to write this two. And then I'm done. So iron 2 chloride is just Fe Cl2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. That'll mean the world to me and my brother. And I thank you so much for that. Let's keep going, all right? I'll see you in the future lessons. Bye-bye.